Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. Continue our playthrough here, and we have just built our first kind of um, initial factory in the desert here. Um, yeah, it looks like we have automation mostly up and running. Still is not quite outputting to anywhere, so we probably want to build some storage containers. For the time being, I mean, ultimately, we're going to want something other than that. But for now, where we're going to go. The goal of this is just to automate the production of all these resources so that we have a single place we can go to gather all this stuff up. We need wire. Do not need the sheets right now. You need this. Uh oh. We ran out of fuel. Not good. What is the fuel situation going on here? Okay, we want to split it. Not really enough. Hopefully that'll tide us over for now. We have to go get more fuel. I think while these factories are running. Uh, let's go ahead and turn in what we got. We know steel plates should be pretty readily available. I'd have to check the concrete. Those were working their way into the system. Yeah, very slowly, but looks like we got majority of it. The good thing is these are all the fundamental resources we need. So leaves us in a good spot. There we go. Milestone reached. You have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program, also known as Awesome. Okay. Your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. In appreciation of this, we have generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and I mean, currency. The real Directly goal here is to get to coal pretty much awesome as fast as we can. We'll grant fix it uh, do I have any biofuel? Can be redeemed in the awesome shop I don't think I do. Desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, cosmetics, parts, and more. Next time you have additional resources, just remember to go that extra kilometer go awesome i thought we um had 17. just a spare bit i'd like to pull some of it how ah, we put the 17 in there all right let's pull this out put this in half nope i want to split it Go ahead and turn this on. I do need to keep some of that handy. I think I need to build a um, chainsaw. All right, we need a couple more screws and get an object scanner. We're producing screws over here, so I think we'll have plenty available to us. Got the biofuel for the chainsaw. Now we got to go harvest some bio resources. Hopefully enough to get us through maybe partial way to coal. But realistically, I just have until I have this oasis uh, carved out. And then I'm in deep trouble as far as biofuel goes. All right, so we're on. There we go. Look at that. I just harvested a whole bunch of resources in very short order. 
So if you hit R, you could switch to a uh, single target mode, which, like it says, will uh, only target the item you're currently have highlighted. But I prefer for situations like this where I'm trying to harvest in bulk. I prefer to have uh, area mode. I saw you charging me. Get that hog remain. Because yeah. area mode will just like essentially pick up all this stuff in one go for you at the relatively small cost of some biofuel. All right, that's probably going to be enough for now. Because I have to convert it all from leaves over to uh, solid biofuel. So we still got some work cut out for us. I prefer to make a factory do it. But, let's see. Alright, what do I have in my inventory? Like, mostly leaves. I'm eventually going to have to move the hub. Not for great positioning. Alright, let's see what we can do about getting... Hmm, that's just paused. Because we have enough power? We are running low on these systems, so at least a little bit low. All right, so I am going to run this into here. We're going to do the same thing with this one. This guy's making straight wire, so... Right, let's grab what we can out of these while they're working. And before I do anything else, I think I'm going to build up another one of these. Not for the sake of uh, combining them together, but I actually need to automate the construction of biofuel. Another reinforced iron plate. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're going to start this guy off with leaves because that's what we seem to have the most of. Uh, I didn't mean to put the wood in there. What am I doing? All right, please don't blow up. All right, we got a little wiggle room on time. Well, while that's doing that, let's get the wood converted over manually. You go pretty quick when I do it manually. Then goal is going to be to hook up the biofuel into that storage container and then have it feed into at least two of those uh, power plants. Apparently, it's much quicker for me to craft this stuff, man. So let's go ahead and set this production solid biofuel. And we'll put the biomass in here. Manually craft the biomass. Because that seems to be a relatively quick process to manually do. And then we can let the biofuel get crafted by the factory. I don't know if there's a f input feeder for the biofuel reactors that are attached to the MAM. Or not the MAM. The hub. I don't think there is. I'll have to look. If not, then what I'm going to have to do is stop using those and just create biofuel reactors. And only use the independent biofuel reactors. 
All right, I think I'll go ahead and take the scanner. Some of these resources. Definitely going to drop all this, well, as much of this as I can in there. That slow belt taking forever. Yeah, it doesn't look like um, there's anywhere to feed in biofuel. So we're just going to have to build our own. Do a little zoop action here. Alright, so we have three. Grab the splitter. Line it up here with this guy. I don't need to be that far away though. That R to make that straight. Right, we got to hook into here, but we don't want to make a spaghetti mess. And maybe we do. Who knows? All right, let's get that built. Let's get back to here. I think if we bring it back this far, it should be adequate. To, uh, maybe a little too much. No, that didn't line up. Yo. And now what that should do is as this gets built, it'll start dumping this fuel into these reactors. Turn these reactors on. And then we could start winding down. Once that last one's fired up, we could wind down this one. Might be able to get away with pulling that out now. Go. So each one of these is producing 20 megawatts. So that's 40 megawatts. Our max consumption is 71, but we're not we're not actually hitting that. We haven't hit more than 62. So we actually should be able to get away with pulling both of these. Their capacity is at 90. So these standalone ones are producing 30 megawatts. And it looks like they have plenty of fuel. So they will be fine for the foreseeable future to produce as much of whatever as we need. I'm just going to dump right into there. And that's just going to make it run at 100% for at least a period of time. All right, so let's look at our recipes. We know that uh, iron plates take, or reinforced iron plates take plates and screws, both of which we are producing and storing. So ideally, we want I mean, I'm definitely going to move the storage situation. Wanted something to get up and running. And actually, I think I need to start with moving this factory over here with the fuel. I could actually put it behind the fuel. That's what I'm thinking. Let's let that just burn down to nothing. Yeah, there's just too much of this in the way. So 
So for now, I think I'm going to manually make these plates, but I do think um, what I need to do is put splitters on here. Split one to storage, one into another factory, same with the plates, and the end result of that would be half of those going towards making iron plates and half of them going into storage for future cases. Alright, so logistics wise, should be getting close to everything we need. Yep, all we need is the iron plates, which again we do not have a sufficient quantity of, but there. The other thing I need to do is figure out where I'm gonna put the space elevator. I do need to build that as well. They cannot go up any higher techs until I do that. Jump pads are kind of irrelevant, but I'd like to get them, I guess. So I kind of hate it, but what I could do for now is just put two containers next to each other. And feed the containers into them. Or just have this container feed. The problem is the location. I really shouldn't have put this here. Or I should repurpose this. For that. But it's already kind of connected. And hooked up and, and feeding. Oh. So, not really well positioned. To do that right now. All right, we're about to hit 50 plates now. Enough. Turn this in. Let's go ahead and do that. This gives us Mark II Logistics. And then the next thing for us to worry about... I mean, we have these belts now, which is good. Recreational use of but we definitely need to automate um, work hours and we'll put you on the list. Definitely need Stay to automate the uh what you call it. it. The creation of these plates if Mark II belts are gonna use those plates. Uh the other thing I need to do get the space elevator built. That's gonna take concrete plates. So the good news is that that takes all basic resources. All right, so concrete plates and rods are what we're short on. So concrete's been slowly shuffling up here the whole time, so we might not be as short as we thought. Eh, a little bit. The part of the issue here is it's feeding into a single constructor. Need to build another power plant because we are going to need to um, expand a little bit here. All right, these are all maxed out already. I guess let's try to tap into this line. And if you didn't know you could do this, you could uh, get a pole. Highlight the line and then click it and then it will attach between that line. All right, now we get that connected. Then we are going to want another splitter here. I don't know why it says clipping. Ah, uh, because it was targeting the ground instead of the belt. I put that there. All right, so we built another power plant, and there's a reason for that. I need to expand the amount of power we can support, because I am going to go expand our concrete factory real quick. 
before I do that, I need to get more of those plates. I might, I might want to build two. We'll have to see what that looks like. All right, so we got the concrete factory upgraded. Instead of one, we got three. Which I guess is equivalent to the smelters, right? So we had three smelters. This is three concrete. I did not set these up as pretty as I normally would have. This is just a splitter dividing it instead of having a manifold set up, which is something I usually would do. And I'm pretty sure that's what I did over there was a manifold setup. So I'll probably convert this to that at some point, but I have to rebuild the whole thing. And right now my focus is just on getting as much concrete built as possible because we need a ton of it for the elevator and we do not have enough. So I'll worry about making it pretty later on. Same with these belts. Like once I get some better tech and I can make these belts move quicker, I'll have to do some sort of stacking and sorting and filtering. Also not a huge fan of the way that this, uh, I don't know the way that this is feeding in there. We're going to, once we get the walls with the conveyor, uh, pieces, we'll, we'll kind of redesign all of this. All right. It says we need 500. I have 499. Need more plates as well, so let's uh, take a look at what that looks like. Things have just been churning out rods. We don't have enough plates. I'm gonna take ingots from here, just to go craft some plates. They'll refill. Got plenty of uh. Plenty of ingots nearby. Get that last little piece of concrete we needed. All right, so how many plates do we need? Oh, it looks like we need some rods too, although I'm pretty sure those are built. I just need to loot them out of the box. Yep. All right. Not too many plates. I think we need 40 or so. Go ahead and churn them out. All right, let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, we need one more iron rod. I mean, the space elevator's got to go somewhere relatively close. Maybe we can go up here because there's nothing. Nothing relevant up here. There we go. Space elevator is up and running. All right, so now we have to get into the business of getting those, the automation of the plates so that I could build smart plating and all that. So let's actually dismantle these storage containers for the time being. I mean, I'll ultimately want them, but for now, let's just get them out of the way. This guy, we're going to move back here. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is here. divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore, and exploit. It is time to be honest. This project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fix-It pioneers offer hope for survival. Fix-It is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. 
Do not let fix it down. I mean, that's a lot of burden there. The inhumanity's counting on me. All right, let's plug that in. And then we are going to move because everything's full on fuel right now. It's pretty low risk. Go ahead and delete that belt out of the way. Get that hooked up there. Wired up there. We have it set for biomass. gonna hit uh take all we'll go back and get the rest in a second we're just gonna move it over here actually just dismantle those things and it'll put all that stuff in my inventory automatically save me having to click on it and through everything all right perfect plenty of that you can't shift click to put it in here, but you can drag and drop to the um to here. So we can keep this pretty full up. I don't want you making anything. I guess I need to keep some in my inventory just in case I decide to use the chainsaw again. A little bit of that there. We could throw that in there. All right. So we should be good now to build steel plates. What does that look like? Well, that, that would, would be an assembler. They need rotors for that. So let's see what rotors look like. So I think I actually need two assemblers. So let's build eight rotors. We're going to want one to make rotors. And we're going to want one to make steel plates. Probably ultimately need three. All right, so the rods and screws... which this is using 10 rods per minute. This is producing 15 per minute. So we actually have excess rods here. But if I split, it's going to do half and half. So slow down screw production. Probably to a point where it's not sustainable. These rods are fine. So part of me wants to swap this around a little bit just because this guy is not going to work out well if I'm splitting it on this side. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. So we need this input to split part of it, go to storage, part of it, go to another assembly. And we need this to split as well. So I'm going to go ahead and slap one of these on the end of each of these. Nope. I am not going to do that because I'm not making a manifold yet. All right. So. Let's get a assembler built. I'm trying to think of where I want to stage this. Remember, half of it's going to go in there, half of it's not. We still need room for the other half that's not going in there to come out. I guess for now, I'll line it up. I really miss um, not having, or I really miss jump packs. 
I can't see an overhead view of how this lines up. I think that's lining up. I mean, I guess I can always rebuild it if it doesn't. Looks like it is. We need a splitter. Let's get that splitter built first. And then this half is going to... Maybe this half will go to the assembler. I still got to figure out how the halves are going to get there without cutting into each other. You're also going to have to split. 15 megawatts. That's pretty... Pretty decent amount of power. Alright, I gotta leave enough room for a belt to sneak in there. Alright, another trick you could use, if you find a spot like this, you could hit H to lock it. And that lets you move around. Now, it's locked to that first one, that's not what we wanted. We wanted the second one to be what it was interacting with. Let's hit H. Oh, oops. All right, so H is there, and it's lined up with the second one. And now we can use the arrow keys to nudge it before we place it. And that makes it a lot easier to move the stuff. That somehow is still not... Try again. Probably the same spot it was last time. I just wasn't paying attention. All right. This is connected there. That's where it was. I feel like we got to go there. Oh. <laughs> All right. So it doesn't matter where we put it. It's just the proximity to that will always make it cut off. Well, for now, it'll just have to be that. How is the power situation? We're good for now. Definitely less than ideal. But now I need rotors. And part of the problem is I need those to come over here. All right, so this is screws and iron rods. Iron rods are coming out of here. Definitely have to build up here. All right, so now we got the production of the reinforced iron plates happening. We got rotors coming out here. And then when I combine those two together, I will get the smart plating. And that will help us complete phase one of the... What you call it? Base elevator. But we are now getting precariously close to... Are power maxing out. I actually think I could squeeze one more in if I look at max consumption 109. Is there 15? No. Well, yeah, I mean, we're not actually consuming all of that all the time, so it's probably fine. I do feel like it's time to expand. By the way, all of this is eventually going to get just ripped apart and rebuilt so right now it's kind of hodgepodge and together but ultimately like this isn't going to be the only factory i have producing iron plates that's going to be uh longer term i'm going to have multiple of those going on this is to limp us along till coal essentially and then we should be um free to start really investing heavily and in expanding All right, we got that down.
in the meantime we can definitely expand the floor I have to be mindful of these nodes. I still have not got more nodes just because I don't I don't have a need for it right now and the power situation doesn't really allow for it at the moment. So I will eventually do something about that, but for now it's gonna be the way it is. Alright, so I need four rotors. Well it's a good thing I got a factory build them right here. Alright, so we middle mouse click on that, click a copy. This needs to move over maybe to here. I do not have modular frames up and running yet, but we will get there eventually. I'm not proud of the clipping, but is what it is. Perfect. Actually, this one we could make it a little nicer without the clip. So let's go ahead and bring that to here. Yeah. Never mind. Like we bring it to here instead. Why are you doing that? I don't want to go that far. Maybe if I start over here. There we go. Now it's not god awful. Okay, smart plating is being automatically constructed. We have our reinforced plates. We have our rotors. Everything is happy. Look at our power situation. Power is under control. We are slightly over on consumption, but given that not everything's running all the time, we have yet to have a peak where that will trip anything. So fingers crossed that will be okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. We have everything done to complete phase one of the uh, space elevator, which we got up and running over there. We have somewhat stable power going on right now with plenty of biomass available to get us through these initial phases. Uh, definitely a lot still here to churn out. Um, tech wise, I think we are in a really good spot. We don't have enough rotors to turn in the jump pads yet, but that's all right. I'm going to just let things run and kind of get everything built out as much as we can before moving on to the next thing. And then, Hopefully, in the next episode, we can start expanding our factory a little bit more. Maybe adding a little more automation, a little bit of um, something that looks a little cleaner. Maybe makes more baseline resources, but we got a long road ahead of us. Let's pace ourselves. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more content in the future. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.